Hi, this video segment will deal with how to actually perform the scanning using the ExamView Test Manager in conjunction with the actual scanner. In order to begin this process, you need to make sure that the scanner is connected to your computer via the USB cable. If you have any questions on that, you can look at uh, the previous video clip and it will describe how all those connections are made. But once you do have all those connections in place, you want to make sure that you open up your ExamView Test Manager. You have your students listed over here on the left hand side and your test has already been uploaded and the students have completed the bubble sheets and so once that is done you can take and place those bubble sheets in the scanner and then go up to the assignment menu and choose get results from and then choose scanner in that pop-up menu and once you select scanner you'll see here there's a little drop down arrow where you can choose the different types of scanners that you can um, have your test read from and we're going to be using the brother scanner and so just as a side note here, if you don't see the Brothers Scanner in the list here, uh, it could be one of two things. Either the scanner isn't connected to your computer via the USB cable, or the scanning software isn't installed on your computer. And if the software isn't there, you can go ahead and contact your media specialist or your building tech support person to get that installed. So we have it installed here, so I'm going to go ahead and click the Next button. and the next step in this process is to go ahead and click the start scanning button and it'll begin to feed the bubble sheets through the scanner and those tests will be graded so let's watch carefully here we'll click start scan and it really goes pretty quickly it might take maybe two or three seconds per bubble sheet uh, to be scanned so we'll let this run here you'll notice as it scans each student's name will appear and their test results will show up over here uh, on the far right hand side just a summary of what they scored so in this case Troy Anderson's student ID number is 5 and he received 11 out of 12 Gary Jones ID number of 2 and this particular student scored a 10 out of 12 so once that's done all your students would show up here in the list and you can go ahead and click finish it'll bring you back to your main screen here and you can take just a quick glance and see how each kid did with their overall score in this case this test had 12 points and down here you can see all of the individual scores. Now I didn't scan all the kids in this class, I just picked a couple of them for uh, time saving purposes. But the next video clip will act actually deal with how you can pull up individual reports, class reports, and do item analysis. So stay tuned.